Hi, Graham from Wobbly Cogs Workshop here again and in today's video I'll show you how I made these aluminium tea nuts for my router table track. Normally this is the sort of item I'd just go out and buy, but I hunted high and low for tea nuts that would fit my track and I couldn't find any. I have very little in the way of tooling for metalwork so this project was quite a challenge, but it was fun figuring out how to complete each task. To cut the aluminium I used my mitre saw with a regular TCT crosscut blade. This is far from ideal as the rake angle is wrong for efficient metal cutting but with care good clean cuts can be made. When cutting metal and especially something sticky like aluminium lubrication is essential. I normally use WD-40 but for this project I decided to try an alternative high performance lubricant that includes Teflon. I started by squaring up the end of the stock and then used the trench cutting ability of the mitre saw to cut a shoulder. I then adjusted the stock in the saw and cut another shoulder such that the finished piece would fit snugly in the track. Finally, I cut the strip of tea nuts free. When cutting the tea nuts free I deliberately didn't cut all the way to the end. There's a real danger with a small piece like this that it will catch on the saw blade and become a projectile. Using a hacksaw I finished the cut to free the tea nut blank from the rest of the stock. As you can see the two shoulder cuts have left me with a T cross section. I did a quick test fit of the blank against the track and I found that the shoulders were a bit thick. This wasn't unexpected as the depth control on the mitre saw isn't great. The width looked good though. Trench cuts on the mitre saw don't run all the way to the fence so I was left with a small portion of shoulder to clean up. I initially tried cleaning it up with my large blunt file but it was a slow process so I decided to try a sharp chisel which worked surprisingly well. Once I got the bulk of the waste off with the chisel though I went back to files to produce the final shape. Rather than try and reduce the top of the shoulder which would be difficult I decided to sand some material off the top and bottom of the tea nut blank. This has the added advantage of cleaning up the aluminium as well. The belt sander is fine for bulk removal of material but for the edges and the final fitting I switched over to a simple lapping setup. With a little elbow grease I was able to get it so that the whole tea nut blank slid into the track. With the blank now fitting it was time to cut it into separate pieces to make the tea nuts. I used the width of my steel ruler to set the length of the nut and then simply hacksawed them free. The hacksaw leaves a burr and a very rough edge on the piece so it was back to the lap to clean up the tea nuts. I was surprised by how much work this project had been so I couldn't resist putting the nearly finished nuts back into the track again to have a play. I was very pleased with how smoothly they slid up and down and how little play there was. For the tea nut to be any use it needs to have a threaded hole so find the centre by drawing across from corner to corner and then punch the centre. Finally drill and thread at your preferred size, in this case I went for M5. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more workshop videos and don't forget to share and like. If you have any thoughts or suggestions please leave a comment below. Bye till next time.